What up everybody? What up everybody? So, I made a video earlier about Riley Cooper and the N-word, showed the clip, and we went through it. Now everybody is going back and forth on whether or not Riley Cooper should be suspended, so I feel like I should chime in on that too. Honestly, I'm going to say no. And the reason why I'm going to say no is because there have been much more serious offenses that have passed and there hasn't been a suspension. Take a look at some of the things that have come out about NFL players and has not been suspended. Remember 2008? The first time Big Ben was accused of rape? Earlier this year, cornerback Pat Man Jones, a habitual crip. Earlier, earlier this year, Pac Man Jones got into a fight at a club and he not only said some nasty things, he actually struck someone. That's right, I think he slapped a young lady or something like that. Last year, Chad Ochocinco headbutted his wife and he didn't get suspended by the NFL. The Miami Dolphins cut him. The organization made the decision to cut him and sever ties with him. And they cut him and they, they even admitted that it had nothing to do with what happened. It had nothing to do with him headbutting his wife. And you might say, well, that's in his personal life. And, but everything that these athletes do is going to make the news. When you headbutt your wife, it's going to make the news and it makes the NFL look bad. So if you're not going to suspend someone over these accusations, I don't understand how you can suspend someone over a word, over the use of a word. It doesn't make any sense. Like I said before, he will have a hard time this season. Until this blows past, he will be on a hit list every single time he touches the field. Seriously. Every time he touches the ball, someone is going to be looking to blow him up. Every time he comes across the middle, some linebacker will be looking for him. Trust me. I'm willing to bet you that a linebacker will take a fine and a possible suspension to level him. It's going to happen. But a suspension? I don't think so. If you suspend him for saying this word, then what the NFL has done is said that this word is more than hitting your wife, is more than rape, this word is more than headbutting a woman, this word is more than smacking a woman in public, and this word is more than a lot of egregious things that's going on with these NFL players that have not been suspended. But that's just my take on it. Wait a minute, back up, hold on, rewind. See, I know as soon as I put this up online, there's going to be a couple stupid people that are going to come to my channel saying shit like, oh, he was sell out. No, this is just common sense, bruh. It's common sense. I'm not a sell out. I'm not an Uncle Tom or any of that bullshit. I just keep the shit 100. The fact is, is you can't put the N-word over rape over smacking somebody, over a headbutt, over kicking somebody, over fights. I've seen a lot of things happen in the NFL that guys have not been suspended for. And they are far worse than a word. Seriously, far worse. You trying to tell me the N word is worse than headbutting a girl in the face? Is it? If you think that way, then I don't know what to tell you. And no, I'm not one of those guys that say, well, you shouldn't be hitting a woman. I don't believe in that shit. But I don't believe in violence, period. I, don't, I believe that violence should be your last resort. Violence should come after talking and walking away. The only way that you should resort to violence is if it's your last resort. The last resort of action is violence. I've tried talking to this person, I've even turned my back and walked away, and they have put my life in jeopardy. That is the only way that casual will resort to violence. That's it. If everybody thought like that, 
think of how the crime rate would go 